Hello everyone and welcome to this YouTube series where we are going to learn how to use Sunspot Solar in your Rails applications. So first question first, what is solar and why should we use solar? Well basically solar is a search engine uh, usually used to speed up your search queries. The high traffic sites running search queries against the database using SQL can start to degrade the overall performance of the site if the database becomes the bottleneck. Also this is very true for lower traffic sites with lots of data. Complex SQL queries can be very slow to run. Apache Solar is a search platform focused on delivering enterprise class high performance search functionality. Apache Solar runs as a separate service from the web server and the database. So it requires some extra resources, but the very fact that it, it is separate means that it can scale independently of the other two services. Solar is also a popular search platform for enterprise search because it can be used to index and search documents as well as email attachments. Underneath it is powered by Lucene. Lucene is a text search engine library. Apart from the full text search functionality, Solar also provides filtering, paging, sorting and faceting. In this tutorial series, we are going to use Sunspot Solar. It's a gem, basically a Ruby library, which provides you with an interface to use Solar in your Ruby on Rails applications. The series goals are as follows. In first video, we will see how to set up Sunspot Solar Gem in your Rails application. In second video, we will see how to index data in Solar and perform full text searching along with the option of boosting your search results. In the third video, we will see how to do pagination and sorting in the Solar search. In next video, we will see how to use joins in Solar. After that, We'll learn how to create and use search facets in Solar. And we will conclude our series by learning how to debug Solar queries using some interface. Also, I will cover some additional topics in the last video. So let's get started. The first step is to create a new Rails application. I'm going to name it uh, Solar App. And uh, I'm going to use MySQL database so this will create our new application, Rails application using MySQL. As the application is created, let's open it now inside an editor. Uh, I'm using RubyMine as an IDE, but you could use anything that you want that you're comfortable in. Now let's go to gem file pretty quickly. And uh, quickly have a look at gem file contents. We need to add certain gems for using Sunspot Solar here. But uh, before you do that, let's quickly run bundle install. Yeah, let's go to the project directory that we have created, Solar app, and run bundle install. Yeah, this should be quick. Yeah, now let's try and run the Rails server and see if our application is up and running. Okay, I need to forgot to create a database. So okay, I'll run that command to create database. So I'll again go back to the application directory, new application, solar app, and create database, rake db, create command. This should create my database. Yeah, one for development, one for test. And now I should be able to run my Rails application, up. This is the ready-made interface. Rails app is up and running. Let's go back to gem file. We need to add two things. Sunspot Rails, which is the main gem, as you can see in the first line. And one more thing, Sunspot Solar. This is a pre-packaged distribution, especially very useful in development environment. It has some useful commands. I have used a version 2.2.3, which I'm familiar with. I've worked in past. But you can just skip this part 2.2.3 and it will pick up the latest version that is available, right? I use this progress bar gem 
uh, that is again optional progress bar gem it only helps in uh, while you are indexing the data it lets you know how much has been done the progress I have used bootstrap and font awesome because I am going to need them again let's do bundle install very quickly this is very quick and let's now we need to generate the sunspot configuration so this is the command rails generate sunspot rails install and let's start the solar so command is rake sunspot solar start this should start the solar it's a process as i said it runs separately then your database server so we just need to confirm it has started so we'll just run the command again but it should give us something like it is already running yeah it is already running with process id 15118 cool let's check out the solar interface now so to know the port number go back to your uh, application and open the configuration file it's a yml file generated when we run that command to generate the configuration it should be in the config main config folder i guess yeah here in the sunspot.yml you can see these are the three port numbers so development environment is 8982 so let's go back and type localhost 8982 this is the solar interface this is very useful for us to debug the solar queries which we will learn in next future video fine so i think our solar is up and running so let's start playing with it